Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Haus Lüning, this is my son Ben. And today we have a closer look at Talisker, Talisker Distillers Edition. And if you're not uh, uh, very uh, knowledgeable about the language, the Gaelic language in Scotland, this is typically pronounced on the second syllable. Mm -hmm. and. Talisker is pronounced on the first syllable because this is not a Gaelic name, it's a Nordic name. So, so it's the, like a, a Viking name? A Viking name, uh, because uh, the islands were in the possession of the Vikings mm -hmm. and were then handed over to the crown or uh, was uh, conquered by the crown. And then they took over the local names and Talisker is a Nordic name and was taken over. So we have Talisker and this is located on the Isle of Skye. On the not exactly on the west coast, but on the west side of the island, on the in, inward coast of a lock, uh, saltwater lock, and it's uh, said it's it's made by the seas or by the sea. So you see here the the water and the waves and the storm and whatever made by the sea. It's the official name. The oldest distillery on the Isle of Skye. Well, there had been just one distillery on the Isle of Skye for, <laughs> for decades. Uh, so this is a no-brainer. And uh, this one is also 10 years of age, as the normal Talisca is. And uh, it has 45.8 ABV, as all Talisca, which are not high ABV or gas strength, have. And uh, it's as well 10 years old. And uh, this is a vintage. So every year we have a new batch coming out with a new vintage. And this is this time not written on the card box, but only on the label, isn't it? Yeah, right. 2009 until 2019. So, so they don't want to print the card box every yeah. year, huh? So probably they do not have that many bottles sold from the Talisker Distillers Edition <laughs> as they have from other, because there are card boxes out there from the Distillers Edition series of the proprietor. There are six in the row, uh, which are uh, different in the card box. Yeah, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here we have it. Talisker is that distillery that is known to have this uh, chili catch or peppery catch, and there's a big discussion going on. If it's a chili catch or a peppery catch, whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> there's not that much difference between no, there, pepper and chili. There's sharp pepper, which is very close to chili. Mm -hmm. But there's also a spicy pepper, which is completely different. Mm -hmm. So this is more the, the sharp peppery note. And it's said to come from, well, the line arm, which is differently manufactured <laughs> differently <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> hard to tell it uh, so, so it's, it's goes up have the neck and then it doesn't go uh, downward or upward uh, but uh, after uh, an s-shaped bow it goes horizontally outside so horizontally completely, completely nobody different. has horizontally in the no, business everybody nobody has, has. horizontally <laughs> uh, I was there yeah. in 2004 and we came with a cruise ship and uh, with Zodiacs we mm. drove out to to uh, Pottery and from there we took a taxi went over to, to Taliske yeah so we have a uh, how much ABV does he have? 45.8. 45.8, and it's matured or finished in Amoroso sherry yes. casks. I've written an article about it, but I can't remember what it was. I think. Have a look at whiskey.com. Yeah, I've written it down there. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if it's it's something in between. You usually you have your your PX, which is really really sweet, not mm -hmm. oxidized or not not what is it, fermented fully. Not it fully. has uh, residual sugar, so it's sweet. Then you have the Oloroso, which is kind of fully oxidized, but not clear yet. And then you have the Fino, which is very, very clear. And I think between Fino and Oloroso is Amontillado. And on the other side, it's maybe Amoroso. But I'm not quite sure. Somewhere, But it has a very special a way of production, as all the sherry has. <laughs> <laughs> and it's more, it's sad to be more intense, a little bit more spicy. Um, the Talisker is priced uh, between 50 and 60, wherever you live. So it's a little bit more expensive than the regular Talisker is. Mm -hmm. 
uh, but it has already found its uh, friends and I have to say uh, the Talisker Distillers Edition is one of my top five. Hmm. So it had been several years ago when I decided which are my best. Probably today I have a different uh, um, judgment, but I'm not quite sure. Do you know, do they tell how many PPM they have? Uh, no, um, but it's sad that they have around 30. 30, okay. I always thought they had 10 or 12 or something. A little bit more, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but the spiciness is really that what counts, and the Amontillado Amoroso Sherry Cask uh, reduces the strength a little bit, makes it more friendly, not that extremely harsh as the normal 10 year old is. That's really, it's not 30 ppm, you're right, it's less. Hmm. So 15, I do think 15 is okay. Yeah. 15, maybe 20, I, I don't know. Yeah. I do smell the smoke. So I think I mix it up with another distillery. So you're right, it's, it's 15, 20. Mm -hmm. So together with that is that sherry note. It's not that fruity. Ooh. And then the peppery note appears, but very faint. So this is an intense whiskey. It shows a little bit of sharpness in the note, but I'm not quite sure if it's the alcohol. Uh, it's this peppery chili catch, or is it already a cask? So it's more on the intense side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. I do love it. Uh, you do have a good amount of smoke. I would. I would still say it's a. The dominant note is smoke, and it's one of these uh, dry smokes. And mm. yeah, the sherry or the fruitiness is not dominant. It's mm -hmm. it's present. And yeah, yeah, there is a bit of a. I would go for a chili catch in in, in this one. Yeah, but. There is not this attacking smokiness. Or, it's not that. Yeah, it's it's and not it's attacking. It's and, and it's not stinky. It's not stinky. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's a it's a very very pleasant one. This is one of these in between whiskies that are balanced ones. That yeah. And here they balance just balance the the smoke very good. Yeah. Should we? Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. First, smooth, silky, then adding up, and then attacking, and then there's this chili catch together with the smokiness cladding my mouth. But the really chili catch, the peppery intensity, I do not feel it here in this one. Mm -hmm. So it's more uh, complex together with the uh, sherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now it's it's really covering my mouth. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So there's a, a good amount of smoke. I would say a bit more than fifteen, like twenty or something like that. Hmm. And you do have a bit of a a sharpness in there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Whereas in the nose, I had more of a chili catch. Here goes more into a peppery, maybe a bit of red pepper, black pepper. Um, yeah, I think we did have uh, the normal Talisker already. Um, that one was more distillery character. Here mm -hmm. you do have much more of a, a roundness, fruitin mm -hmm. fruitiness, chocolate, berries, something like that in that direction. So now I had my second sip. And after that second sip, uh, it's really balanced. In the start, it was a little bit too weak on the tongue. Mm -hmm. Then intense in my mouth, and now I'm putting it again on my tongue, and now taste builds up, mm -hmm. smell builds up, uh, everything is more complex. So you definitely have to judge after the second sip. Mm -hmm. So this is a wonderfully round, complex, very complex whiskey, because the this smoke is not covering everything, lets lots of uh, aromas through, and then there's this uh, spiciness from the distillery and the cask influence from the sherry. So there's a lot of difference 
going on in this one. I do like it. I think the the spiciness and the, the chili is actually stacking a bit. So the, the second one is much more intense in that direction. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Now it builds up. Now there's mm -hmm. the peppery note yeah. in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's nice. It's it's interesting. It's not one of the like the the normal one that's a bit more rough and tough and spicy. Mm -hmm. This one is a, a very nice, balanced, spicy, fruity, smoky island whiskey. But therefore, it's one of my favorite mm -hmm. because it's so balanced. I like it. Uh, yeah, I like it too. And I like it a lot more than the regular 10-year-old. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm. So, wonderfully yep. made. I'm really uh, looking forward. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit planning that I'm going to visit it maybe next year or something mm -hmm. like that. I'm really looking forward because the Isle of Skye is meant to be a, a really, really beautiful place. It is. Yeah. Really. So mm -hmm. if you ever come there, First time just take your time. I went there by ferry. Mm -hmm. The bridge wasn't ready. I was there in 1981, first time on Sky. <clears throat> yeah. So very the good. thing is, uh, when you go to Sky, when you drive from Oban or something like that, you no. might as well they take the ferry because it's just yeah. <laughs> to, to Malague. The way to Malague is oh, really yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to share it with your friends. And see you next time.